Hello! Welcome back to our channel. We have a really exciting toy today, don't we? We are reviewing yes. Rocks and Minerals. This is by Young Scientist Club Exploring Earth, and this is not our first toy by Young Scientist Club. We have also had the Space Backpack and the Fossil Dig. Yep. And they've both been really educational and really great. So if your child loves educational toys and learning, uh, then these are really great toys. And this one is Exploring Earth. Some fun things it says about this, by the way, is that you can walk in the footsteps of a geologist and explore rocks, crystals, and minerals. It also says you can observe volcanic eruptions like a volcano, volcano just, volcano uh, just? I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> uh, kind of like this volcano right Yeah, there. mommy's learning. A volcano just, I never learned Vol that also. Volcano just. What's a volcano just? I guess it's somebody it's that studies volcanoes. I never heard that. We are going to discover the world of mineralogy. It says 17 fun STEM activities. STEM, if you're not familiar with STEM, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. That's right. Open it. Open it and so see. So let's get on with that. Let's get on to opening it. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. What, you don't have to dig them out. Lots. Lots of minerals. Lots of minerals. Oh my god, I really want to open There's a this little right tray away. for something. Ooh, okay. this looks like a little chemistry kit. Okay, I'm just getting out these. Okay. These are really cool. And then it comes with an activity guide. I'm gonna get these out of here. Okay. Ooh, here's an activity guide. There's a bag stickers, inside of that. A poster. Ooh, a poster around you. We should hang this poster Ooh. behind us. Your science kit comes with an activity guide, a volcano model, a poster, sticker sheets, memory game cards, a magnifying glass, an experiment tray, numerous rocks and minerals, a metal disc, glass disc, tile, nail, and a magnet. Here we hung the poster behind us and we're going to try to see which activity we're going to do first because there are so many activities I in want this. To, uh do the digging first. You wanna do the digging first? Okay, this is the dig, and we are going to dig very gently and carefully for how many minerals? Eight crystals. Eight crystals, and was it crystals or minerals? It is minerals. And four are going to be already polished, and four are going to be in their natural state. So we're going to see what they look like. And from my experience, or from our experience with the fossil dig, this is probably gonna take some time. <laughs> the dig took a lot of hours, so it's a great way to have a lot of hours together with your child. It probably took us, how long? Three or four hours? Maybe more? Maybe like five hours. Maybe like five hours. It, it took all day. But we did find all eight minerals and four are smooth and four are in their natural state. Yeah. And I want to show you my three favorites. Here's an amethyst I got. I mean, I have saw an amethyst a bunch of times, but I never saw one with clear at the end. Mm -hmm. This is also one of my favorites, this blue one. And opal, I, it's my first favorite of all of them. And this is my second. This one's my third. What is that one? The kyanite? Mm -hmm. This one's kyanite. Before we start our next experiment, which is going to be crystal growing, right? I want to tell you a little bit about this activity guide and about this toy in general. This is an educational toy, and I was looking at this activity guide last night, and I want to tell you it is packed with information and material. So you will find activities and things that are your child's favorite things to do. And this is not something you're going to play with in just one day. This is like weeks and weeks and weeks of activities. If you homeschool, this is not one day of activities. This is days and days and days of activities. You can possibly use this for an entire semester, extend each lesson. It is just packed with activities, experiments, and so forth. So since it's so much to do, we're not gonna be able to show you everything in this review, 
but I will say we really love it. We did the crystal finding in the dig, and now we're going to go to, what are we going to do? We are going to grow our own crystals with this lava. Yes. With this bowl, and we're still growing solution. You make sure that you have adult supervision for all of these experiments because some of them do involve explosions, some of them do involve chemicals and so forth, and it's, it's best for the kids to have some supervision when doing these and guidance as well. What they need is a bowl, your lava rock, and see it's porous, it has lots of holes in it. need a magnet? No, we don't need a magnet, but we do need, what's this? Solution. You need your crystal growing solution, your lava rock, and your bowl and scissors to cut open the crystal growing. Yeah, my daughter's pouring in the crystal growing solution. Great job. Okay, great. So you want to make sure that the top of the rock is still outside of the solution. solution. Right. And don't touch the solution. It is chemicals. So you want to make sure you're not touching that with your hands. We will leave that for a few hours and we will move on to doing something else now, right? So the next experiment we're going to do is the volcano. What you'll need is your volcano and you'll need to assemble it. My daughter already assembled it. You will also need two measuring cups. I assembled them in the beginning. How many milliliters of vinegar did we put in here? That's right, 10. You'll put 10 milliliters of vinegar. Where do we put this cup? Yep. Yeah. Put, put that right into your volcano. And you need a measuring spoon. That is for the baking soda. You will also need some baking soda. And we are not sure how big the explosion is gonna be. So my daughter had a good idea that either we should have safety goggles or a safety mask. Maybe Which do you want? Safety mask because if it like goes right here. Okay. So we are going to wear our safety masks. Oh, but before we do, I wanna tell you that this is a puma stone and puma stones are actually- From lava. Yeah, they erupt out of volcanoes. And they get to sometimes be as big as a couch. So you don't need the puma stone for this experiment. Uh, I'm just letting you know that puma stones do erupt out of volcanoes and sometimes they can be as big as boulders. This one obviously isn't. If it is as big as a boulder, it's probably gonna stay really close to the volcano. If it's little, it might go out further. And if it's volcano ashes, it could go out to a really far distance and even change the weather in, in surrounding and faraway cities. Okay, right? So you'll go learn all that from reading your activity guide, which is how I actually learned all that. Okay, I'll use that one. Now we need to use the measuring spoon and scoop out one spoon of baking soda and put it in the measuring cup. Yes, okay, we have on our safety masks just in case. It doesn't say to do that, but we just think it's better to be maybe safe it, than sorry. Maybe it'll go like that. Right, and plus our baking soda is old, so we don't know if it's gonna react differently. <laughs> okay, now you pour the vinegar into the volcano. Let's see what happens. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was pretty cool. So I guess we didn't need these goggles, but we were just being safe, just in case. Wow. You wanna try that again? Yeah. You know what else you could do? You could take food coloring and put it into the um, vinegar. Let's do it, let's do it. You wanna put food coloring in the vinegar? Yeah, let's And then do you it. can get another color volcano. I think we have some red food coloring. Should okay, I get let's that? Do it. Not much has happened after an hour. You can see tiny little crystals starting to form. And it's, like I said, it's been about an hour. So we'll see in a few more hours what it looks like. This is really cool. Yeah, so we're gonna get more vinegar, more baking soda. We're gonna experiment but with different amounts. It might spray because I'm not putting more, so I should probably should try yeah, it. Yeah, we'll try it with our safety goggles. And we're gonna use food coloring. We put in a ton of baking soda and, and how a much? Ton of vinegar. Yeah, we have 200 milliliters of vinegar this time. Okay, ready, set. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Wow, check out our volcano! Do we need more vinegar? Maybe we need more vinegar. Still bubbling. That was incredible. <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that? Definitely. Here we are now, about two hours later. The crystals are forming. So now our uh, cup is way taller than the volcano, so it has a lot more vapor to it, and now we're using this for vinegar. Hold on, hold on, before you go on, we put a huge cup underneath there. We did not use a little measuring thing. We covered this in baking soda. My daughter likes to experiment so much. I covered her in a towel because it was really messy last time, right? Yeah. And now we're going to put twice as much vinegar. I think we're ready to do this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 boy. Our volcano is exploding. That looks like, that's so pink. The bubbles are, uh oh, mom. Did it spill everywhere? Uh, spilled on some. That's okay, that's okay, legs. that's why we put you in a towel. This is a super messy Again. experiment. Again. No, 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 that's enough. We've done this experiment Again. how many times? Okay, she wants to do it again. We'll do it one more time. Now we're at about 24 hours later. Thank you so much for joining us for our Exploring Earth Science Kit and our review. So what'd you think of it? I thought it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. We would definitely, she actually said when I had the camera off, she actually said she wants to buy another one and do everything again. But there are still so many activities to do in here that we haven't done yet. Are you really excited about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like loads and loads and loads of activity, months and months of fun and learning. And um, I think it's a really good kit. I would really recommend it. So thank you for joining us for another video. And I hope that you'll subscribe. And we are so excited that you were joining us and thank you for supporting us by watching our videos, subscribing and liking our videos. So we will see you later. Okay. She's still playing with the volcano stuff. This was really fascinating to her. Okay, say bye. Bye. Bye, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for the next fabulous toy video.